House of Representatives is expected to vote on new economic sanctions on North Korea. This follows North Korea claiming that it successfully tested a hydrogen bomb earlier this week. The White House has shed doubt on whether North Korea had indeed detonated a hydrogen bomb with White House Press Secretary Josh Ernst saying that the initial analysis is not consistent with the North Korean claim. So joining us this morning to give us more perspective on the diplomatic implications of the vote and the test itself, former UN Ambassador Nancy Soderbrook, thank you so much for being here with us. My pleasure. So to really deal with North Korea, it seems like there has to be an alliance of countries coming together, but that's something that we're really not seeing right now. Well, there is an alliance working to try and contain the nuclear threat in North Korea. It's China, Russia, the regions, and us. But the linchpin to that is China, and China is not, in my view, being tough enough on North Korea. It's led by an uh, individual who's uh, kind of bizarre. Um, he's seeking his power by throwing nuclear hissy fits, attacking and threatening South Korea. Um, U.S. sanctions don't have a huge impact because we have very little trade with them. You need to have them international, led by China. And right now, the Chinese are sitting on the sidelines, and we need to push them harder. Why do you think China is not doing anything here? Because China has actually been described as an ally of North Korea. China is afraid of a collapse of the North Korean regime because it would mean millions of refugees flooding into China. And as we're seeing, people don't love floods of refugees coming across their border. So it's been very cautious. So we need to, in my view, bump this up to a higher priority with Russia. The president's been uh, very focused on the crisis in the Middle East. He's just concluded an international deal to keep North Korea, to keep Iran from getting uh, sanctions. That deal's working. Um, and people are contrasting, we've stopped nuclear uh, weapons in Iran, why can't we do it in North Korea? And North Korea is just a very t much tougher problem in terms of getting a deal. It's not a rational leader. Um, the Iranian leaders, as awful as they are, are rational are making a calculation that the cost of the international sanctions was too high. They agreed. We'll see if they cheat. They may, but we're, we've got tough sanctions regime in there. Without China leading the way in North Korea crisis, it's very difficult to get that deal. So until we get China moving, we're going to have continued problems in North Korea. What can the president do to get China moving? Because it's pretty clear from what we were just saying that the president should be doing something. I think he's doing quite a bit. Um, I think it's all a question of prioritizing. We've just negotiated the, a huge trade agreement, the TPP in Asia. That's been a major focus. Um, he sees the Chinese leaders regularly. We need to make sure that this gets into the top of the discussion list I think it's been down a little bit lower and, and this recent action I think will push it right up to the top very little influence in North Korea though it's isolated it doesn't trade it's you know very very uh, strict control it's a brutal regime uh, it's, it's run by the grandson of the founder who came to power at age 28 clearly not ready to take power and so he's pretending to be tough by testing weapons testing missiles threatening South Korea um, and abusing the people. So it's a real crisis here. And I think you'll see over the next year increasing pressure on that regime uh, through China, but it's going to take some time. Clearly. Lots more to discuss with this in the coming weeks. I'm sure we'll be asking you for your insight coming forward. My Thank pleasure. you so Anytime. much for being here. Yeah, it's we a busy world out there. Absolutely busy. And White House officials say that the president would support a new sanctions package from Congress. The U.S. envoy to the U.N. says the Obama administration wants a tough, comprehensive, and credible package of new sanctions.